hello and welcome back to my channel in this video i have another dip powder kit to try out for y'all and let's just get right into it this video is going to be more about the design instead of like the kit overall because i did already review a dip powder kit from rosalind just like this but with different powders but today i have some reflective powders here and um i was pretty excited to get into these it's just the fact that it's dip powder you know and i'm not used to using dip powder but um since my first time using it um i feel like i've gotten better like i don't think it's hard to get the hang of dip powder you just have to like you know make sure you don't you don't just you don't overthink it because it's just dip powder y'all all you're doing is putting base coat and putting the powder on your nails so I'm gonna show y'all how I did these stiletto dip powder nails today. Um, I could have dipped them like a little thicker, but the thing is that, especially when you're doing longer nails, it can take a long time and you'll have to dip the nail more than like three times. Like if you were doing like a shorter, more natural look, you would probably just have to dip your nails like a few times for them to have enough thickness, but I don't do short nails and I refuse, so yeah i'm gonna show y'all how i did these long nails so first you start off with the base coat and then you just put a thin layer of the dead powder and you just repeat this step until you get your desired thickness but one tip i do have is don't always apply it to your cuticle don't always apply the base coat to your cuticle because your cuticle area will get thick and bulky slowly you want to move up the nail like move you can start at the cuticle and then slowly start to move away from it as you apply more and more layers very slowly especially depending on the length of the nail for this nail i like you know i had to do a lot of layers but i'm not going to show y'all each and every single one for all the nails because that would just be you know too much but um i did want to use more than one color and i didn't really know what i wanted to do so i just ended up using this gold on the mat on my pinky and then using the black on my ring and index finger and i used that orange reddish color on my middle and thumb finger but like i said um this video is gonna be more about like the nail art and these dip powders are nice um I don't have any other brands to compare them to if i could i would use them with monomer but i tried to use the last dip powders with monomer that they sent me it didn't work y'all it took like a day for that stuff to harden and so i guess like i guess i just can't use monomer with these i don't know but my thing is that like i just prefer <laughs> using monomer and stuff i'm not gonna lie to y'all i don't know what happened because i think this stuff is super strong first of all like using this and using monomer is the same type of chemical like you're getting the same amount of chemicals in your lungs mm -hmm. <laughs> i just wanted to let y'all know that it's because um when i was using this like the whole time not the whole time but most of the time my eyes burning my nose burning i'm like crying <laughs> trying to do my nails more towards the end but it probably won't be the same experience if you're doing shorter nails because you won't be using as much but oh my goodness gracious this stuff smells so strong just be mindful of that wear a mask open windows and ventilate because girl i mean like girl i wouldn't say it's worse than monomer but um it's it's very strong it's definitely as strong as monomer the smell just doesn't linger as as long as monomer does i'm gonna let the rest of this play out and um yeah i'll come back when it's time to move on to the next step which will be adding the activator to the nails and i'm gonna show y'all a different way than I did it last time because last time I don't think I put enough for like how thick and long these nails are.
So I just realized that my cat's purring is so loud that it kind of picks up. So I hope y'all, I hope y'all don't mind that if y'all can hear it. But anyways, um, here's how they look after I apply all the day powder. And now we're gonna put like three layers of activator, allowing at least five seconds in between each coat so that these nails can harden. The activator hardens the nails and um, this stuff smells strong too. Not as strong as the base coat though. But um, after applying this activator, we're gonna file the nails and I'm only gonna use my hand file because these are dead powder nails. And um, so the cuticle area, it just doesn't like for me have a chance to get thick enough to where I need to use my e-drill. I did do that on my last set, but that's because I was practicing on my last one. This time, I feel like I have, I feel like I know kind of what I'm doing a little bit more. But um, yeah, no, no electric drill this time. We're just gonna be hand filing. And filing dip powder is about like as hard as filing acrylic. I like to start off for stiletto on the side walls, just like I do any other nail. The only difference about my filing with stiletto is obviously I don't sharpen the free edge like how I sharpen them with other shapes. So I just go along the side walls, then the body of the nail, and then maybe I go on the cuticle area a little bit, you know, if I see something that needs to be filed on the cuticle area. But for the most part, like I said, the cuticle area is very thin with dead powder nails so you don't have to worry too much about it unless like you want to seal the nail I guess but I just don't feel like it's sealing the nail is not a necessary step if your um if your if your cuticle area is like flawless or whatever it's not that much of a necessary step to seal So after I got that done, I'm gonna do some nail art and I decided to do pumpkins and French tips and I definitely wanted to do chrome as well. So the white gel polish that I'm using is from Rosalind. I'll have a link below. They don't sell their white gel polish individually. 
I don't even know if they do it on the website. I'm sure that I've checked before. And I would definitely link if they do. But I just don't think they do. Also, um, the chrome powder that I'm using is just from Amazon. I don't know what brand. But I'll have it linked below for y'all if y'all want to try it. And it's a pretty good chrome powder. It's just like any other chrome powder. If you use it right, then it looks good. So I'm going to be doing the nail art and chrome and i did french tips on my pinky middle and thumb but i didn't do them like regular french tips i did like i did like a regular french tip then like an upside down french tip y'all will see when y'all see also don't worry this pumpkin does look like a spider but i'm not gonna it's not gonna stay i'm gonna remove this and start completely over because what is that
so I cured the white gel for like a normal amount of time and the reason why I did use white gel is because I thought that I would just like leave the nail art like that but like very soon after I started the nail art I, I decided I wanted to add chrome but anyways I'm just rubbing it on with an eyeshadow applicator fully cured by the way some people say like cure for five seconds this and that but I just do a full cure because the it, it leaves a sticky layer so the chrome is gonna stick and I'm using I'm using gold for the rest of my nails except for the gold nail because I just didn't want gold on gold I don't think it would look bad I just didn't want to do that but pretty much after I apply the chrome I'm gonna top coat the nails and then we're gonna have some reveal shots but I did forget to mention that I have a 5% off code for this for this dip powder kit and it applies for the other one as well it's in my description below for 5% off I'm pretty sure on Amazon and I'll have everything that I'm using linked below as well. I used Rosalind's top coat to top coat these nails. And yeah, after that, reveal shots. And let me know what y'all think in the comments below about these nails. I think that they're pretty cute. Um, they're simple, you know, which is like not what I'm like. I do a lot of simple nails. It's just that um, I prefer doing more intricate nails, but I didn't, I didn't know what to do with this dip powder like yeah i feel like my creativity shines when i do acrylic and i know i've been saying i want to change this poly gel yes but that's because the monomer that's just because the monomer i love acrylic y'all but anyways let me know what y'all think of these nails below i would rate them myself i rate them like five but i rate the dip powder a 10 the dip powder is really really pretty as you can see it sparkles really pretty really nice and um yeah y'all can let me know what y'all think of the dip powder too and be sure to leave a like subscribe if you want to see more nail content like this i review a lot of products and i also just do nails in general and um yeah leave a like i already said that i know but thank you for watching and i'll see y'all next time bye